In one of the darndest games you'll ever see, in one of the more interesting games to clinch a division ever, Ohio won 9-3 over the Akron Zips to paint the East Division green and white for the fourth time in program history. My goodness. Ohio wins, Ohio wins, Ohio wins. I'm Russ Eisenstein. He's Rob Cornelius. You're Ryan Boyd. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Great birthday, by the way. And the Bobcats honor you with a birthday treat. That is a division winner. We'll start with you tonight. I normally start Ooh. with Rob, but, but you're the birthday boy. <laughs> How in the heck did this thing happen? It was crazy. And you looked at all the stats coming into it, the struggles of Akron on the defensive side of the ball, uh, the fact that statistically speaking, Ohio should have had a big day, but instead it was the defense, and maybe fittingly so. This is a defense that's dominated all year long for Ohio. And uh, to give up only three tonight, Terrell Basham told us after the game it was probably the best they played all year. It was fitting. Yeah, I mean, sub 300 yards, hold these guys without a touchdown, while Ohio doesn't score a touchdown. The defense tonight was not only good, they were critical, because without them, this thing goes the other way. It, it was the best defensive performance Ohio has had this year when they needed it the most, because the offense, for whatever reason, didn't get it going. The defense, as we said, outstanding. It was a 6 nothing lead at the break. Ohio and Akron would trade field goals, and it would come down to some key plays as Akron got the ball deep inside Ohio territory, but some knock Knockaways, some knockaways, and then it was it. Yeah, some final uh, final drive excitement out of Akron. One of their best drives today was late. He had a couple long throws, a couple runs through the neutral zone at midfield. But you're right, Ohio's DBs, you know, much maligned all season. Starting at that Texas State game, what are you doing about the back four? Well, tonight, Brad Ellis and the safeties and the corners played very, very well and showed Ohio they could keep a team out of the end zone. And by the way, it's two straight years now that this uh, Akron team has been unable to score yeah. a touchdown against Ohio, so a true credit to that defense. I wonder if there's another conference battle in which one team has not scored a touchdown in two straight meetings. That's almost as good as trying to find a conference championship game with, with that sort of scenario. <laughs> but we also <laughs> went through, you went through yeah. and, and found some stuff. The last time Ohio won a game without scoring a touchdown. Yeah, without box scores, we believe Ohio is 15-12 or 15-10, went over Kent in 93, was touchdown free. And before that, it had been all the way back in 1979 when Ohio scored a 9-3, 9-6 kind of win. I'm assuming, again, field goals to beat Miami. But you're right, this never happens, ever. Louis Zervis. We should have him in the post game. He would have been awesome. Yeah. I realize we owed Bash, senior, big yes, night. I get it. But yes, Louis Zervis come here for a while, and he's been really, really important. If we can stay this consistent for a couple more years, he's uh, it's good for Ohio. Period. Wow. 9-3 Ohio wins. Our postgame recap is supported by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau on the web at AthensOhio.com. I've never seen a game like that ever. Ever. This is how it looked and sounded tonight. 27 to 65 outscored rather in this three game losing streak. Third down and two. Goodman back in the backfield on a pitch. He is swallowed up back of the attack head and down. They have two wide outs to the right. There seems to be confusion as to who's covered and who's not. Out of the shotgun, Maxwell. He'll look right, throw right, caught. It's Smith, undercut and taken down to the right side. Numbers down at the 40 and a first down for the Bobcats. So Akron ball near the right hash at the zip 28. Back in at quarterback and slinging it left side. It is Goodman, caught in space, but tumbled and thrown down is JoJo Natson for a loss on the play. Trips left and nobody to the right. First and 10 for the Cats at the Ohio 45. And a handoff sweeping right. Ball's loose on the deck at the 40. And uh-oh, Akron picks it up. He is a right-footed kicker from the right hash. This year, he is 9 for 9. This to give Akron the lead. Snap back, placement down. Kick is low and slow and hits the right upright. It is no good. Maxwell out of the pistol. Behind him is Malik Irons. Sebastian Smith comes in motion. Right, joining Poppy White. And that's where Maxwell rolls. He's at the right hash. Plants, throws right. Caught on a comeback. Right side numbers. Poppy turns the corner and got to the 50. Second down at about nine at the Akron 49. High snap, reeled in, handoff left side, irons, breaks it left side, 40. 35 left numbers, 30. Lowers his shoulder, taken down low at the near side sideline and down to the 28. Long snapper is Hale, the holder is Farkas, the kick is away, and it is good. Goodman's out of the shotgun, wide outs left and right. And Goodman takes a snap, play action, pockets breaking. He'll run into trouble and down at the 46. Swallowed up there on a loss of four on the play. First and 10 for the Bobcats of their own 17. Left hash, Jordan Reed in motion from left to right. Maxwell out of the shotgun, rolls right. Protection's good. Sets up and throws to the right side. It is caught on a comeback by Reed. Turn around, ran to the 50 and a first down for the Bobcats. So it is third down here in about six at the Akron 33. Five wide, Maxwell going to run. Through a big hole up the middle. 
Field with a 25, and he's taken down low, but he got a first down. It's going to be great. Louis Zervis is on for a long field goal attempt, and he got it! Louis Zervis came on for the long field goal attempt, and he got it. Out of the shotgun, it is Goodman. Takes a snap. Here comes the blitz, and he'll dump over the middle on a crossing route. Caught by A.J. Coney. Drives forward along the right hash and got a first down as he was tackled by three. Wide out left is Jerome Lane. Out of the shotgun, Goodman takes a snap. Dump over the middle, wide open over the middle. Michael Trailer Bennett drives forward between the hashes. Left hash against three and down in traffic. Down at the 23. Tom O'Leary, who who is 9 for 10 on the year. He pops this one up, has a lot of gas, and he got it. 6-3. For the Zips, right hash at their own 7. Out of the shotgun, Goodman. Draw play. Up the middle to the right side. 15 through a tackle. Right sideline. First down. Lowers his shoulder and runs forward to about the 24. Second down and 10 at the 23. And it's a play fake and a run up the middle. Nowhere. Slung around. Thrown back. Ball loose. Ohio's on it inside the 20. And then it's fumbled a little further back. And who's on it at the 15? Goodman ran forward. The Zips say it's theirs. Ohio had a crack. It is Akron Baller. Maxwell out of the shotgun. Play clocks at 10. Takes a low snap. Retreats. Minimal rush. Pockets breaking. Steps up into it. Will angle right. Throws on the run right. And it is reeled in by Sebastian Smith inside the 35. Clocks at 6. Second down and about 6 at the 29. Hand off right. Irons to the right hash. To the right numbers. Inside the 20. Down inside the 15. Taken down at the 13. Ball near the right hash. Fourth and 2 from the Akron 5. Option left. Maxwell will be hit. He had to drive forward. He didn't get there. Crowd making noise. Those that are here want to be here. A decent crowd. Back to pass is Woods, uh, rather Goodman, throws a deep ball. Right side man out there and it is caught at the 50 and he held onto the ball after he got tackled. Second down and 10 for Ohio. Pistol set. Brown behind Quinton. Hand off Dorian. Got to the right side. Hatch and he turns the corner. Stumbles forward. Got a first down. Two receivers left. Nobody right. Back to pass Maxwell. He'll lob left side one-on-one -on -one coverage. Poppy out there and he caught the ball on the way down. He was near the ground as he made the catch on a dive near the left sideline at the 34. Flag out. Pass interference won't matter. Pass is caught with no wind at all. This to put Ohio on top. 9-3. Snap back. Placement down. Kick up. Through. Good. Thank you. 9-3. But this is not over yet. 9-3. Ohio with the lead in the darndest game we've seen in a long time. Two receivers left wide out to the right pocket breaking pass thrown over the middle it's caught at the 40 45 left eye of the attack cat and down at the 48 third down on about 10 and a half of the Ohio 25 Goodman back to pass settles in the pocket lobs to the end zone man out there jumping grab it is caught and dropped Goodman out of the shotgun four wide back to pass pocket holds he will throw to the right side of the end zone it's knocked away incomplete Ellis knocked it down 16 seconds left and Ohio's gonna win so that's how it looked and sounded. Full disclosure, uh, Rob wasn't robbed. He had a computer earlier. He has a phone now. This is actually a continuity error. <laughs> it really is. We did our post-game final comments before taping the post on this TV recap for you, so that's why Rob's computer is gone. <laughs> Anyway, Ohio wins for the fourth time in the division in 06, 09, 11, and 16 Fourth time the charm? Maybe, and you hit a goal. You hit the goal you wanted for this season. Obviously, the first goal is, is to win the MAC East, then to get the MAC Championship game and, and win that. And again, we've given the kids, if it's Western Michigan, the tippy top target to hit in this league. It gives them a goal, something to punch at. Top of the bat, bat handle, right? As usual. Yeah. And I think it's pretty cool. Ohio loses their first game of the season to Texas State. There were some folks that panicked Oof. a little bit. It was, yeah. a, it was a long time ago. But you remember those moments where people panicked a little bit. Now you look at the way things have played out. You're 8-4. and four. You could still win double-digit games this year yeah. if you go to Detroit and take care of business, win a bowl game. Uh, so it's an exciting time to be a Bobcat fan. Um, a lot to recap here. A lot of plans on OhioBobcats.com. You could get tickets. We want to see you there. This team needs to see you there. If it's Western Michigan or Toledo, um, really doesn't matter. It's a short trip for some parts of Bobcat Nation. It's a long trip for others. We'll be there for you if you can't make it there. There will be a Bobcat bash before the ball game in Ford Field. That's right. It'll be in the Hall of Legends at 4 p.m., two and a half hours of Bobcat bash. Honoring those legendary Lions playoff wins. Yeah, and maybe like Eric Hipple. 
Perhaps. Our coverage will start on <laughs> Thursday night from 6 <laughs> until 7 o'clock with MAC Championship Live. It will start from Ford Field and then game night around the air at 6 for a kick at 7. Bash wants Western Michigan, and who am I to say that Bash is wrong? No, he's, re he's rarely wrong. And again, Toledo's Team Ohio has already gone and beaten in their gym, so to speak. And frankly, you like, you like the matchup there, but you like Western because you want to go beat the best. And you cost this league a ton of money. Oh, uh, sure. Happy birthday again, Ryan. Appreciate it. All right. Not your birthday, but no. Good, good working with you again. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be someplace in Michigan for that. Anyway. Oh, no it's doubt. Fine. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> nine three in one of the darndest games that you will ever see to clinch a division. Our post game recap is presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau on the web at AthensOhio.com. Paint it green and white. Ohio won the East for the fourth time ever. For Ryan Boyd and for Rob Cornelius and for the entire Bobcat TV crew. Jason Chapino leading that herd of very capable and talented broadcast professionals. Sometimes. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Good night from Athens. Stand up and cheer. This is Bobcat TV.